Okay guys, so here I'm going to show you, this is the trial version of Film Convert. I just downloaded it and um, I've known about it for maybe a year or so and um, I want to purchase it. I really want to purchase it and uh, I'm just going to show you guys the few things that uh, it has in store and uh, yeah, so I have this video right here that's from my Odyssey 7Q recorder. Um, I have it under red code, and it's a it's a move it's a it's an MLV file. But I don't I don't use a red. It's just I just put that under because um, the other ones are under BMCC for my Black Magic. This one's recorded with my um, DSLR, and instead of putting DSLR, I put I put red just because I wanted to. And it shows that there's 300. There's 3,080 frames, and there's um, it's going at 60 frames per second. So I could slow it down if I want to, and it's going to look super clean, and it's in full HD. And here you could just go right here to your desktop if you want, or your downloads and everything, pictures, movies, all your files, and uh, you sh they show up right here. This is where everything shows up. Here's all my stuff. Here's all my videos. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm just using this one that I took... Uh, I took, yeah, dang. Um, this was on a, dang, this one was actually on Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is, this is that, that same day, Thanksgiving. And uh, so, anyways, you click that, go here. Now, I love it. Uh, it's so dang cool, because Film Convert, you could add your own film stocks to your footage. Change your exposure to your film, temperature to your film, um, reset it, change your camera, whichever which one you're using. So see, it even has my camera right here, and it has my camera right here, and my camera right here. Because I use GoPros, Blackmagics, and Canons. My next love is going to be a Sony, which is the A7S. And that won't be for a little while till I... Um, save up a few bucks for that but um so I'll just I'll just put this on Canon for now because I'm using a Canon and I'm using a Mark II 70 so actually I just put it on a 5D Mark II since they don't have a 7D Mark II uh, option there and you could choose you could choose your format here I'll just use a uh, I'll just use a flat flat profile um, you can use this as your default camera if you want, but uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, apply to all. I already downloaded that, so. And here we go. So, here you can choose your film stocks. I'll play the video right here. Now, I have my little uh, menu right here for my DSLR my, and my, um, my framing, <coughs> my frame guides, but. Um, because I was using my Odyssey 7Q and my frame guides are here and all my information pops up right here that my um, five, uh, that my 70 Mark II puts out because when you record with an external recorder it actually records everything that's being shown on that screen so my camera was a, my camera wasn't recording but my my Odyssey 7Q was and when Odyssey 7Q records you have to make sure your menus and your guidelines and everything from your from your camera that you're using to record with the Odyssey 7Q doesn't show up on your Odyssey 7Q recording but here I didn't care I was just doing a test and whatever so here's Polaroid 600 film stock I'll go to actual cinema film stocks I don't know if they have Kodak. Oh yeah, they have. They have the five two one three. I like the. I like. The, I like the uh, Kodak Vision three. Um, you could change all of this, the curve, everything, one by one. Now, you see it's kind of lagging. It's because I messed with something over here. And. Like you could change your grain, you could add add grain, 
take grain away. I like to add a little bit of, uh, actually, I like to add a lot of it. Um, change my temperature, put it up a little bit. And uh, let's see how this looks. See how it's going a little quicker now? Because um, it all depends what size um, sensor you change it to. And I have a lot of windows open right now, so it's kind of lagging. I'm also recording my, I'm taking a screen recording, so it's going slow because of that. And I, uh, this computer can't hold, I don't use this computer to edit. Uh, I usually edit all my stuff on my MacBook Pro, but uh, right now I'm just using this because my MacBook Pro is next to me, but it's not on and uh, whatever. Now, while you're playing your video, you could change everything. Change your midtone, shadows. And this is all this is all with the uh, this is all with the trial version. And after you like what you see, you could just uh, yeah, you could just render it Go right here to render. You see the log, log wheels right here. Go as much as you want. Do whatever you want. Change the color of your shadows. Before and after, you can you can check your um. Hold on a second. Now you don't have a vector scope, but uh, but you do have the option right there. Check if your coloring and everything's off. You want everything. You want. You really want everything even. You don't want everything misaligned because uh, this is before. Here's after. Nothing's really changed. Yeah, so um, <laughs> you have your color waveform monitor right here, and uh, yeah, you can zoom in if you want. Check how uh, how grainy your stuff's looking, your video's looking. This is it all the way up. Thirty-five millimeter Academy sensor size. Yeah, guys. So uh, that's about it. This is the trial version. So. Um, This Mac is not, this version of this Mac is not for editing. I really, you know what I really want? I really want a PC to edit all my stuff on, edit my music on, edit my videos, edit my, you know, edit my movies, my pictures, everything on. But uh, for now, whatever. Even to DJ on, I want a PC. And to use Free Loops. Because I used to use Free Loops on my old PC. I grew up with PCs, and that's only because no money. It's the only thing you could use, but I grew up with that, so that's one. That's what I used. To, that's what I know how to use the most. But um, here's all the film stocks, by the way. You have black. <coughs> you have gray and black. You have um. Looks pretty nice. It's Fuji film, velvet. I haven't tried it with photos yet, but um, since it only says to choose footage, I think you can only choose your footage. All these. 
these options. If you're using a red, I think it sees that my file is for red, is under red, but uh. I don't want to download it because, um, yeah. I don't want to purchase anything right now. Now, my Blackmagic Cinema Camera is a 16 millimeter, Super 16 uh, sensor. So, with my Blackmagic, I would choose that for my sensor size. It also gives it the look of a Super 16. If you don't, if you're not using a super real Super 16 and you choose it, it'll give you that look. See like that. Gave it a eight millimeter film look, which is pretty cool. I love film convert. It gives you a lot of options. Now it kind of looks like I'm using a eight millimeter camera, like the movie Sinister or something. Super 16, just like uh, The Walking Dead uses with their RE416 camera. And yeah, guys, but uh, that's about it. That's all I'm going to show for now and stuff. So uh, you guys are going to know what the Film Convert has and what you can do on it. <clears throat> and this is the trial, so. I'm pretty sure with the full uh, version, there's a lot more stuff you can do. There you go, guys. Let me render this. And let's do it. Save this quick time file. You go up to 2K if you want. That's what I would be choosing if I was, you know, using my black magic. Uh, just keep it there. If I was using my Odyssey 7Q, this is so cool. Because my Odyssey 7Q, I, I, I can record in DPX stacks. And I, all the, I can use, I can record in all Apple ProRes formats. Uh, but right now, since I was only using my DSLR, I can only, uh, Actually, what am I thinking? I wasn't using my DS. I was using my DSLR, but not to record. I used my. That's why it's giving me these options. I'm so dumb. But uh, yeah. I'll um. I render it in um, Apple ProRes 422HQ. Let's give it its full potential. Yeah, there we go, guys. After that, it's going to run the clips. And, um, you just wait for it. All right, guys. Peace. Remember, film on, like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm out.